Hey everyone, Jeannie DeSaro here, the new executive director of Greater Ashmont Main Streets. And spring is unfolding, Boston is reopening, and here at Greater Ashmont, we are re-emerging into our community, diving through the sounds, sights, and tastes of the neighborhood all spring and summer with our new event series, Invigorate Your Senses, A Journey Through Local Art. In order to kick off this new event series, we're bringing back um, and reinvigorating our dot jazz series, although this first dot jazz of 2021 will be an at home version. I'll turn it over to Mark to tell us a little bit more about tonight's performance and performers. Thanks, Jeannie. Yeah, this is Mark Redmond from Andorla Music, and I'm so glad to be working with Greater Ashwan again to bring to bring you some live music this time to your living room and hopefully uh, before too long uh, back at All Saints. Um, this group, I'm very excited to, to share with you. This is actually the premiere. The first time anyone has heard this particular trio performing is in, in, this, uh, in this set that we recorded uh, a couple of weeks ago at Q Division in Somerville. Um, drummer Austin McMahon has played a couple of dot jazz concerts in the past. Uh, he played uh, one of our most popular with Jerry Braganzi's band back in January of 2019, I think it was. And then he was back with Plum and Karadonev's group um, uh, at early in our last um, season that was unfortunately shortened by COVID. So Austin is one of the busiest jazz drummers in Boston and he's joined in this performance by two really wonderful players, pianist Carmen Staff, uh, who came up from New York to record this. Uh, uh, Austin and Carmen go way back and um, rounding out the trio is the bassist Tony Scher. Tony and Carmen play in a, a number of bands together and uh, Tony's had a long career uh, in the New York scene playing with folks like, uh, in the jazz world, folks like Bill Frizzell and has done some crossover work in the pop world with, he, he toured with Ani DeFranco for a while, I'm pretty sure. So uh, this is a really exciting uh, group. They're calling Cat Trio, C for Carmen, A for Austin and T for Tony. I, I hear Carmen's a big fan of cats too. So that had something to do with it, but um, they recorded a wonderful set. It's all original music, tunes by uh, Austin and Carmen both. Um, and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. So um, uh, freshen your drink and get comfortable and, uh, and enjoy and stay tuned. Hopefully more to come from Dot Jazz uh, in person uh, in time.
Um, <laughs> that was really fun. Thank you. I hope you can hear me through my mask. Uh, we are recording this in April, and I hope by the time you're listening to it, maybe, you know, things are even better than they are now. But um, we're super excited to be here and be able to play together. This is the Cat Trio um, with the amazing Tony Cher on the bass and the incredible Austin McMahon on the drums. I'm Carmen Stoff, and this is actually our first gig. It's a premiere of this band, the Cat Trio. And so we started with a piece that Austin composed called Cat Volier. <laughs> and uh, we're going to keep going with one of mine. Um, this is Strindberg. <laughs>
Thank you. Yeah. So we'll play another one of mine. This is uh, new, composed during the pandemic, and it's kind of about the pandemic. It's called There Again, Here Again.
Um, I just want to thank Mark Redmond and uh, Mandorla Music uh, for putting this series together. This is really a wonderful way to uh, adapt to this, you know, this situation that we're in and get a chance to play and hopefully, you know, play for maybe some people who haven't heard us before. Um, each of us individually, of course, has our own projects, but um, we're excited to be playing together as a trio. And um, Austin and I go back really far. We've played together for a long time and we're really good friends. Um, and so, yeah, it was just, it felt like a no-brainer to get together and play and then bring Tony in, who's, of course, a master and one of my favorite musicians to play with. And um, so we have this piece that Austin wrote. Austin, do you want to say anything about this, this new tune that we're going to play? Sure. This next one, this is Unravel, um, is the title. And as Carmen had mentioned about her previous piece, I wrote this at the beginning of the pandemic. But then the pandemic kind of changed things on me, so I never finished it. And, and it was the, the prospect of this group coming together for this particular performance that kind of inspired me to finally come around and finish it. So um, the title Unravel just means that it's kind of, you know, we were, we were unraveling. We were kind of trying to figure out what was going to happen next in the pandemic. And um, we're still figuring that out. And also, um, there's a little bit of just a, you know, a classical reference of Ravel in the title also, just because I was practicing a lot of classical music on piano at the time at the beginning of this pandemic. So um, some of that came through in, in the, the sound of this piece. So this is Unravel.
here. This is going to be another one of Austin's next. Austin, would, would you like to introduce this next one? Sure. Um, this one is entitled Borrowed Blue. Um, and I wrote it on my anniversary, which is why I called it Borrowed Blue, because of the old saying, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. And also I borrowed the melody, the opening statement of the melody from Clifford Brown, from a tune called Dahood, and uh, threw a little blue in there too. So this is Borrowed Blue. Oh, one second.
Um, thank you. I'm checking on our time. That's why I keep uh, bending over. Look at my phone. All right. I think we, I think we probably have time for one more song. Um, and thank you so much again to, um, to Mark uh, Redmond at Mandorla Music for putting this together and incredible Austin McMahon, Tony Cher for playing and my name is Carmen Stoff and um, also Colin and Abby and everybody here at um, Q Division where we're doing this recording at the studio. And thank you all for, for listening and I just want to mention also before, before we play the last song that we're in a really historic moment right now. Uh, we're recording this on the 21st of April and um, like Austin mentioned, he, he said something about borrowing music and I just want to say that all the music that we're playing is coming from African American traditions and music of people of color and um, that's, I, I want to acknowledge that that's what, that's a tradition that we're coming from and we're drawing on and we, we really owe uh, what we do to. And um, so, yeah, I just, that's, we need to um, keep affirming that uh, Black Lives Matter and that we are, that we owe what we do to, um, to those communities. So, that said, uh, let's play one more song. We're going to play another one by Austin McMahon. Austin, do you want to say anything about this? Yeah, I'll just mention that this one um, is borrowed <laughs> yet again, or actually more based on a theme that was composed by um, my wife, Dana Sandler, who's an incredible composer and vocalist. And um, she, was, she was working on a, a melody with this kind of shape and these themes, and, and um, I heard it from a different room, and I, I was so moved by it that I decided to write my own piece based on these themes. So thank you, Dana, for the inspiration. All right, and yeah. thank you once again for listening, and we hope, we really hope that very soon we'll be able to play for you in person in the same room. Yeah. Uh, that will be amazing, but in the meantime, it's great to play music with these amazing, wonderful people and for you all, so thank you.
be sure to check out the whole series. And once again, thank you to everyone here at the studio. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Tony. Love you guys. <laughs>